Speaking of the Before Guardians, Before we talk guys. Guardians. Yeah, go ahead, bro. I heard Stephen Kwan had a bunch of built bars this week. <laughs> uh, he did. That's why he was able to drive off six runs. <laughs> Use promo code locked on 15 at built.com. Shout out to Stephen Kwan, man. Guardians Woo. take three or four, Jay. How about it? Well, so three I, in a row since we've been last. Three in a row since we last talked. And now get to play Oakland, so get off to a whole so really good let's, start. Let's Two play an NHL Oakland game next, here. You know how at the, after the NHL game, yeah. three stars. Yep. After every game. Yeah. Yep. I want Bulls three stars from the for Guardians the series. Yeah, for, for the series and 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 oh, yours too. Okay. okay, thank you. I was gonna say. This no, is, I'm offended oh, I already. Think about it now. Well, I, I'm not sure you watched all three. All right, it's, here's. Yeah. You see these notes? Look at these Guardian notes. I, if, if I'm sitting out here, I'm coming prepared. Don't you dare think right, I'm well, prepared. I didn't know you were going to be here. So I didn't that is know, true. That, that is I didn't true. know if you were going to watch or not. I mean, the first three guys that came to mind, although I feel like I'm forgetting somebody, are Quan, Savali, and Class A. Okay. Yep. Am I, oh, uh, uh, Here's why I'm doing this exercise. I, I, or, or, I'll, I'll I, I mean, Zanino had a big game that, yesterday. He's the online. reason I'm doing it yeah. is because I always do that for games I'm thinking and about series. It. There's five guys you could throw in there. Yeah, there is. There's five guys. Do we yeah. want to start with Zanino real quick? I mean, well, Zanino well, was big yesterday. Well, it, what's interesting was... about the starting pitching over the weekend was like the whole four game series. So Bieber was phenomenal. Lights awesome. out. Then Gaddis was horrible. Yep. Then Savali was incredible. Right. Yep. And then Quantra was bad. Yeah, he was. So the bullpen, again, outside of Karen check was, was bad the first time and made a sweat the <clears> second time. The rest of the bullpen has been completely lights out so far through four games. You want the numbers? Go ahead. Real yeah. quick. Yeah. Against Seattle, the starters. 21 yeah. in the third innings pitch, eight earned runs for a 3.3 ERA. The bullpen. Well, I mean, that's unfair, though, because most of those were against one guy, right? No, no, just two. Saying, Gaddis and Gaddis Quantrill. And Quantrill yeah. all eight Gaddis runs. wasn't great, but Quantrill they, got dinged they hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four runs. Yeah. Quantrill, and then, uh, four earned runs. Quantrill four, gave yeah. five runs, yeah. four earned. Yeah. And the bullpen. 14 and two-thirds innings pitch, only three earned runs, a 1.84 ERA. That's the only one that gave a run was the was Karen Karen Shea. Shea. Yeah, that's it. That was the rest it. And he it. gave up three runs on a home run, by the way, that was a wall scraper. Yeah. It off, barely got out. Off what we talked about with the foul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Confusion, so. Since that home run, the bullpen's been completely lights out. Awesome. Unreal. We expect that to continue against Oakland this week. By the way, the good news is, even though they're playing at 940 the next two nights, after uh, these next two games, the Guardians do not start a game after 7-10 until June. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. Thank God. In fact, their whole homestand is 6-10 or earlier. What's going to be an awesome homestand against yeah. the Mariners and the Yankees. That's going to be a lot and of fun. And by the way, I, it's, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. The 6-10 starts, which they do when school is in. Oh, my God. You're going to be home by 8-45. 9 o'clock, you'll be in your the bed. The game's uh, Saturday night started at 9-40. Yeah. And if not for the Karen check inning, which right. took like 17 minutes, yeah. you know, <laughs> which is a fast inning last year. Right. But aside from that inning, they were on pace to play that game in an hour and 50. It yeah. ended up being 203, I right. think. Right. The so, Friday game was longer, but the only games that are going long are high scoring games. Yeah, the high scoring game uh Friday night yeah. took 3 hours. I mean the low but it's fine if it's a 3 hour game if right. the score's 8 9 8 or I'm 6 all, 7. I'm good with fine. that. Yeah. The games that are normal scores, low scores, they're all going under 230 so you could across go to the league. A, you could go to a 6-10 start, and you could be leaving the stadium. You likely will if you yeah. go off the averages a little after 8.30. You, you yeah. pretty much know you're either get, you're getting one of two things almost every night. Either a high-scoring slugfest, which is fun, or, an or a home. super fast yeah. game. And, and I'm it's great with both. It's I'm great perfect. with both. It's awesome. I yeah. can't believe, and I think you're with me, that I, if you would have told the 19-year-old the me that I would like these rules, I would have said, you're insane. I would I too. love it. I do, too. Love it. I didn't think I would love it. I thought, yeah. well, if it's good for the game, I'm yeah. fine. But I think it's going <clears> to <throat> mess with pitchers' rhythms. Now, we do have to hold our fire for one reason. Yeah. I do think when we get into the playoffs, and we saw this with Karen Check In the first game. In the first yeah, game. I know where you're going. People are going to get pissed. If, well, yeah. I don't think people are. I think you're going to see a lot more pitchers melting down. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because in the playoffs, I pressure. can just tell you from my experience, when I get into an inning where I'm, where it's a trouble inning, I've got a guy on second, nobody out, second, third, one out, whatever. Yeah. I slow everything down. I'm normally a quick worker. I get yeah. it. I, I look for the sign, and I throw. I wouldn't need a 15-second shot clock normally. Yeah. But when I'm in a spot, I I – Go through everything in my mind, yeah. location, pitch selection, and everything slows down. I'm afraid that when we get into the most important games of the year, yeah. we're not going to love it so much. We'll see. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. By the way, I don't know. I, I didn't figure out exactly how much time it was. I got to go back and look at it. But the Brewers, I, I was listening to the Cubs Brewers on the radio 
uh, Saturday afternoon. I was going to the movies. The game started at 2.20. I was w- got out of my car at 4 o'clock. So we were an hour and 40 minutes to go into the movie theater. They were already going to the top of the eighth inning. And I kept looking at the score before the movie started. Right. By the way, at the movie theater, I yelled at the person in front of me to put her phone away because <laughs> I never take up. I was looking at my scores in you know before the the previews even right, started. Right. But once the movie starts, you put your freaking phone away. Yeah, you're supposed she to. Took it out four times in the first five minutes and said, "Put your phone away." <laughs> Did they? She didn't take it out the rest of the movie. Good. Yeah. I think it was a woman. I'm not sure. I couldn't yeah. really tell. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure it was a woman. But uh, anyway, <laughs> the point is, these games are flying. It's I awesome. love it. It's so much fun. There's such a rhythm to the yeah. game. Yeah, I know. Even on the radio, it's like pitch, pitch, pitch. It's beautiful. It goes Plus so a, fast. Plus A's work Saturday night when he had the save was uh, a minute and nine seconds yeah, or something yeah. like that. I went yeah. back and timed it. Well, he threw nine pitches. Yeah, eight I strikes. mean, it was unbelievable. Boom, goes, boom, 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 boom. And this is the best for, like, my generation and younger, which is it's what It's going to bring in some trying. young fans. I really believe that. You don't that. have time to check Twitter between pitches. Like, you used no, to have time to go scroll, then you miss two, and then yeah. you do not have time to look at your phone yeah, between pitches. There's just and that, so much more action. It yeah. brings you into the game in a way that I think is why young people are drawn to the, basketball, even more than football to an extent, because yeah. outside of free throws, it's a free-flowing game. Right. You can't yes. take yes. your eyes off or you miss something. In and football, you know what? Baseball is, is, I think, well-suited to check your phone anyhow because you can do it between innings. Exactly. Right, you know, right, you've yeah. got the minute and a half between right. innings. Do your business there, but That's when right. the game starts, watch the game. That's right. You and know, we've got to get people at the stadiums. We've got to get young people watching the games be more interested. Well, that's why the Guardians play for the $49 month pass that's great idea that's a ever. great idea because best i think younger ever. people are going to be the ones that do that yeah, yeah. they're going to get them there they're going to see that they're going to have fun yes and there's a lot going on and hopefully they'll grow the fan base that was and, the sole intent of this and yes. manfred who i've i've said Me is the too. worst commissioner of our lifetime yeah i'm if this works like i think it could yeah he has a chance to completely rewrite his legacy. I yeah. thought he was a disaster, but I do think all the rule changes they've made, I think, have helped the game. Yeah. Is it awesome? Made the game more interesting. Oh, I thought there was one thing interesting where, yeah. um, I, I, was it Gonzalez that stole the base and Quantrill stepped off and threw to second to right, get right. him? Right, yes, yeah. Um, so, one of the things that was talked about when I was in Arizona with, with both Willis and with Tito yeah. was they were concerned about the cat and mouse game between right, pitcher right, and yeah. runner. And I think that they must have gone through this a lot in over the course of how are we going to play this? Yeah. And I thought Cal Quantrill played it absolutely perfectly. He didn't freak out. Right. He heard the first baseman yell, going, going, going. <laughs> right. He stepped off, yep. spun, and threw to second. Yeah. In the old world, if you thought the runner was too far off first, you would automatically throw, throw over to first. Yeah. Right, right, right. But the play here is to go to second, second. base because yeah. you're going to get it out. You're going to get him in the rundown either way. That's where right. Where you might not get him yeah. going back to first. That's right. You throw to first, you probably, by the time they throw to second. second. Right. Yeah, and by the way, we're going to see a ton of stolen bases this year. It, They're already up big. Well, it. Here's, here's what's up. I don't think attempts are up that much. Well, I saw stolen I, base percentage is way up. Is way yeah, that's up. what I meant. That's it's what I meant. Over 90. So, well, remember, so, we knew that it went up 30% in minor league. Right. Yeah, and baseball. here's what's going to happen. Like, so far, I don't know about yesterday's numbers yet. Through the first three days, uh, stolen base attempts was not not up really. I thought I but saw it percentage, was up, like 11 maybe, or 12%. Maybe, maybe including yesterday it went up. Yeah, I think But that, percentage was up over 90%. Yeah. So what's going to happen is the attempts now are going to shoot. Sure, because they're they're, shoot. the play is more successful. And this is perfect for a team like the Guardians that have most of the guys that, on the, that play can steal. I, and we, certain I, teams are what, like the Yankees? Were, oh, I think they were 28th in the league last year in stolen bases. They're tied with the Guardians right now for third. It's early. And it's well, early. they're going to run. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna but run I'm just saying more. certain teams. But certain teams are not built to run. No, but that now teams, can run more. A lot of teams, their philosophy was not to run because analytics said, don't run. The percentages aren't there. Sure. Well, now the percentages are there to it's run. A, yeah. It's a safer play yes. now. What, who are your three stars from the series? Because And the reason I ask it, you could name six different guys. Yeah. So, you know? I would put Zanino on there. And yeah. I'm going to save Zanino for one sec. Yeah. we got to give Tim Heron a shout-out, though. Absolutely. Because what he did yesterday, not just awesome, but historic. Did you guys see the numbers? It's never been done, guys. Yeah. Since, ni- since 1893, when they moved the pitching mound back. It's never been no done. No pitcher has ever come into his Major League debut, faced at least four batters, and struck out all four. Yeah. 1893. That's amazing. Yeah. That's it's a unreal. long time. I'm not going to math. Unbelievable. That's over 100 years. Yeah. yeah. Silly. And his stuff was filthy. His, his stuff was it's, it's, it's filthy. And, and here's the thing. We talked earlier about they got to make a trade. You know, they still need another arm. I've said. Starter, not I, a reliever. I, I, yeah. Right. He's yeah. not a starter long term. Right? He is a reliever. Well, look, it, to be determined. Okay. 
to be determined. Everybody, when they're coming up, comes up most, not everybody, most of the guys will break through as a as a reliever. To get but a lot of times they days. need a spot start, they'll call a guy up. Okay. His parents didn't make it to the game. I don't know if you guys heard that story. He got called up. His parents said, should we be there? They yeah. flew in. I think they got stuck, missed their connection. I think they ended up watching his performance from the airport in Seattle, which <laughs> yeah, is heartbreaking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But four hitters, four outs. We And, and I'm, I'm not saying he's uh, going to be a long-term solution here. But the reason that I, I just trust what the Guardians are doing so much, when news came out that McKenzie could miss up to eight weeks, and you start thinking about where, where does, you know, how do they bridge the gap? Now, Gaddis was not great. No. no. But this is a guy who wasn't the first or second or third prospect in their organization. Yeah. They call him up to help bridge the gap in the bullpen. And this is just some run of the mill guy who came up and at face yeah. four. Now, there was probably no book on him. They didn't know what he right. was going to throw. Yeah, we don't know what he's going to do. He but, might get bombed. No, he might next get three slaughtered. But, but he was my point awesome is, yesterday. This is the kind of yeah, stuff that they, the Guardians have become known for. They have had a ton of success drafting and developing pitchers and, and then bringing them along in the majors and having success. I would never, if I were the Guardians, I would never, never, never spend any big money on the bullpen. No. They don't need to. Uh, I, I said the Mets spending crazy money was stupid, even though they have an unlimited payroll, so I guess it doesn't matter. I don't understand spending big money on relievers because there's always <gasps> some good young arm that you could turn into a reliever. Yeah. I still think at some point they might need a veteran starter because a veteran starter can matter in the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, but we'll see. Let's see. But we by the way, no rush. we've talked about, and it was only one start, but we've talked about you weren't sold on Savali. I'm not still not sold and on both of them, but Savali was fantastic. But Savali looked like two years ago Savali. He was great. Again, I got to see it. That's why yeah. I'm not in a rush. I know, we don't but need to just, trade for a guy right now. Stuff, <laughs> like, his he looked stuff nasty. He was great. He was fantastic. Speaking we'll of see overreaction. Plesak tonight. He yeah. goes against you know how we did overreaction on Friday? Yeah, I was and laughing, I was like, by the way. I was like, Shane Are Bieber, we ever going to get a hit? They got hits. Listen, yeah. and I, so that was proven wrong. Uh, I said Shane Bieber might be a bad teammate. Yeah. Well, I texted Cal, and I was like, hey, Cal, Shane Bieber, bad teammate. He goes, LL, no, you idiot. So, proven fact. <laughs> I know. They Shane love, Bieber, not a, Shane well, Bieber. Did you text him back and say, why did he suck yesterday? No, I did not text him yesterday <laughs> and ask him why he sucked. But uh, Shane Bieber, he was not good yesterday. No. Not a bad teammate. I do got a question for Boyle and Jay. And it's actually, me and Mike was texting back and forth about this. It's like I'm just talking Game one, sometimes. we know what it was. <laughs> The rest of the games, the Indians got nine plus hits. They were scoring runs. Who? Yeah. What is it about when the ace is on the mile that we can't really get hits or score runs? They oftentimes are matching up with an ace. Yeah, some, yeah. I mean, it, but is that I mean, it works out that do way? Do we know that that's true though? What? I mean, like, what are the Guardians' numbers? I mean, just because they didn't hit this no, first start. No, it's I, I know what you're but saying. But that does like, happen sometimes. But, it does happen sometimes. But once you get it into the season, it doesn't always it, work out. No, that it doesn't way. always work yeah. out that way. But oftentimes, particularly late in the season when you're in a pennant race, yeah. Like, Oftentimes, aces will match up with ace. They're always matching up on on opening day is the one day of the year where you can guarantee every team's best pitcher is throwing unless there's an injury or something yeah. fluky like that. But it's it's a thing. It's been that way for a, a lot of years. But it's it's because oftentimes they are facing off against the team's other best pitcher. Now, I don't even know if it's the majority of the time, but just the, the rhythm of the game and yeah. the way it starts and the way – you know, four days, five five days from opening day when Bieber throws again, he'll likely be facing the ace. Well, now, it gets off track. It won't once you because get into the, the ace have no ace. Yeah. Well, the A's are different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The A's are a mess. But it, wait, but how many? What, what's their record? One and two. One and two? I, or I've won two? two bets. I'm up $28 <laughs> through three games. And explain everybody what you're doing again. Just betting $10 against the A's on the money. Uh, not the money. On the, on the run, run line. Run line, yeah. To lose every game. I'm going to bet 162 times, $10, and see how much. So your, your outlay will be 1160 uh, No, it'll be $1,620. $1,620. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. $1, Over the course of the season. And, and then... And this going to be a and it'll be experiment. around even money, you, maybe maybe <laughs> minus 110, uh, 120, depending they're on They're actually, game. today, they're playing the Guardians tonight, they yeah. are, the money line's plus 110. So I'm actually going to make it. Oh, the, the money win, lines? Not the money line, the run line. If they Oh, the run line. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. they win tonight because it's it's a uh, please It's please act. So it's they, not a, they, yeah. not the sure, A's all, the A's have <laughs> basically five, five fifth starters. I mean, they don't have any yeah, good They're not great. Pitchers. Two more things I want to talk about though yeah. real quick with the Guardians. Zanino, obviously huge game. Big game yesterday. Mm -hmm. Do you know the last time a like, Indians Guardians catcher had three hits in a game? Don't look at my don't look at my stats. Uh, I'm not looking at your stats. Mm. I'll say <clears throat> I'll say Roberto. No, no, no. I'll no, say Jan Gomes. Been. No. Mm. It couldn't have been that long ago. <laughs> Was it? How how well, long you're is, asking the question. How, how long so is must, could it be that how long is that long? 
God, three hits in a game isn't. I mean, Austin Hedges did not have a single three hit game in his no. career. So it's pre, no, pre no, Austin. I don't, did he have a three hit week? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, he's 0 for to start the season. He is. He's, no, yeah, he's 0 for 7 to start yeah. the season. Well, it's yeah. funny. The, yeah. the, the, the Guardians are better where they needed to be better. Yeah. All right, don't, no. don't get off track. And I would say five years. Ten years ago. Who that's was that? Carlos Santana. That's, no. that's embarrassing. And before him. Wow. Lou Marson, who I don't even know. Lou Marson. Yeah, they got him in a trade for Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah, long time ago. Uh, not one he, thing didn't play lot, he didn't play a lot of games for the Indians. <laughs> no, so I don't know. How, I, no. That's impressive. That he uh, Zanino, though, offensively impressive? Yeah, yeah. Defensively we got he six. struggled. Yeah. I counted, and he has a great I reputation. Said that on, I said that on Friday. I counted yeah. six pass you know, balls over the weekend. Yeah, he, he he's having problems with that. Now, it, we do have to cut him a little bit of slack. It's a new staff. He's working with a new staff. staff. Yeah. And he has a great reputation as a defender. He but he's does. Been a That's why I'm so, so odd that it's, he's, yeah. Been, yeah. he's been not good behind the plate. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't even, I, you know, I, I would like to say he's been average, but I think he's been no, below average. No, he's been average. horrible. Six pass balls so, in four games. I tweeted yesterday count. that he had more RBIs than Hedges had all last year, and somebody said he also had more pass balls than Hedges had all last year. Which well, right. look, with Hedges, you were getting a guy who was a very good defensive catcher, knew the staff, well-liked, terrific clubhouse guy. Zanino, I think you're getting a bat that is, you know, from, from a catcher standpoint. I think um, he'll be fine defensively. I do, too. I think let's, let's give him some time. Yeah. Um, it's funny. Every pitcher's pitch that hits in the dirt is going to move differently. It's all based on arm slot, it's RPM. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, the balls just bounce differently depending yeah. on the pitchers. He doesn't know any of these guys. He hasn't worked no. substantial innings with any of them. So, let's judge him again yeah. end of June. And he but was, I, he was I, hurt I, most of last year, right? He was. Yeah. So, he's I would, still getting back. In the that. end, though, I'd say first star's got to go to Savali, I think. I agree. Because he yeah, pitched so great over the weekend. Tremendous. Second star. But Bieber, Bieber was, you know, even no, though. No, but I'm just saying Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, that's, okay. I thought you were saying and Friday, Saturday, Saturday. And Savali went an extra inning. He pitched seven. Yeah, he, he did. Six. They both he struck did. out three. So, if you're going. Uh, Guardians Quan, didn't do. Quan was great. Quan, Quan was, was great. Zanino was great. Um, it's, Josh Bell was terrible. Here's the, yeah, Josh, Bell's, Josh Bell's struggling, although I think he's he's drawn a lot of walks. I think he's he's six walked walks. five times, six times. He, he's six walks, but he's one for 12. Yeah. Tough, uh, that, tough it's all right. It's, you yeah, can't I, get too worried about no, statistics no, no, but, early. Yeah, I, a lot I, of guys I, hitting 600 in, yeah. in April, I don't get excited either. Yeah, I would no. tell you, though, if you had told me that last Thursday, before the season started, that the Guardians would take three or four from Seattle, oh. and Jose would not have a single RBI. I know. Jose is batshit crazy. Jose's been str- – you know what? This scares me. Jose's been really bad against breaking balls. And so it maybe teams are just going to say we're done feeding this guy fastballs. He's, he kills fastballs. He's yeah. just going to see all off speed stuff. If that's what they're going to do. And that's what Seattle did. And every pitching scouting report is different, but you yeah. can bet the Oakland yeah. A's saw what, what they did to him. Right. If he starts seeing a heavy diet of breaking balls, like I expect, and he doesn't get significantly better, it could be a long season for him. Hey, I'm not I'm worried. Not worried yet. I think he'll be fine. I'm not, I'm not worried way, yet, but. How good is Julio Rodriguez, man? That guy geez, is that unbelievable. Special. I just like everything about him. Oh, my God. I, I love his. They're a good team, the Mariners. They're really I don't want to say but. he's Ken Griffey reincarnated, Oof. but he's fun to watch. He's good. good. He he's loves good. the game. Yeah. He's got that Lindor smile. Uh, the swing is. It's, it's pretty. It's something to see, man. <laughs> it's pretty, yeah. man. So, and he does everything well. I think, yeah. you know, he doesn't really have holes in his game. Seattle's lucky to have him. Was he's he a, 22? I don't think 21? he's 22. Did you see that? I think he's 21. Uh, did you see the situation, the thing with Anthony Rendon grabbing that fan? Did you see I that? I did. No. I did. And Major League Baseball told him not to comment on it. Yeah. Wait, but wait. Fill me in. I, I, he was. Um, we could probably show the clip. Do we have? If you want to find that on we Twitter. We definitely don't have it yeah, logged yeah. up. But Anthony's. Rendon's on the Angels. Yeah. yeah. If, you want, to, if you want to find the clip of Rendon. Was it I'm, after a play? Was that? Was it after a play? Uh, it was after a game, I it think. It was after the after game. game. Um, you can, if you want, you can read the super fan, the super chat. I'll see if I can find the clip. We have a super chat. So if we can find the clip, we can show it. Um, yeah, it's, I, I don't think it's going to end well. For it. There's definitely going to be, I think there's a suspension in order for it. Um, it yeah, this? you want to read the super chat? Halem Yusuf. Yeah, that's and I it. hope I got this right. Uh, he said, I think going to the game with the new rules won't be as fun. Imagine trying to go get nachos and missing two four innings. <laughs> that's a good point. That is a good point. So just wait for the guy to come around, man. What's, what's the matter? Are you going to really whine well, about the, that? The nacho guy doesn't come around. So I was listening oh, this true. morning on the radio, and some people believe that Major League Baseball probably overcorrected the time issue. And you all seem to think that, you know, the pace of the games is is where it should be. Do you see you coming off of that as I'm the season I'm ignoring people on? that are complaining about oh, the rules. Oh, shoot. Though. Yeah, did you see it? 
I'm watching it right now. Yeah. yeah. Send that to send that to Anthony, and we can throw it in tag board so everybody that hasn't seen it can watch it. What was your question, Earl? So, I see that everybody is on pace with the pace of play with Major League Baseball. Yeah. Do you think as the season go on that you will stay where you are now, as far as? Well, like I said, I want to see the I want to see meaningful baseball with this with these same rules. Why would anybody have a problem with the rules? The game is moving faster well, with more energy. To, I just don't understand. Some believe that it's moving too fast. Yeah. Ooh. To Earl's point, I have Ooh. well. The fan that said, I don't know that going to games is going to be as fun because bathroom breaks, you're going to miss a lot of action now. And if the games are shorter, the last thing you want to do is if the game's three and a half hours and you go to the bathroom and you miss three three at bats, who cares? But if you have to go to the bathroom and you miss, a, you know, it's you could miss a full if inning. If you go to the bathroom in a football game or a basketball game, you're going to miss a ton of action too. I mean, that's- Well, you will, but the, you got a lot more TV timeouts that are longer. In, ba- in in football, I mean, the TV timeouts in baseball are structured. I mean, we're talking about Guardians is bathroom. not the stadium is not that crowded. I mean, these, yeah, what, what are you doing in the bathroom? Waiting for forever. Well, the hope is it it becomes crowded. I, I, and by the way, yeah. those those forty nine dollar passes sold out for the month of I April. Know. Yeah, like there's that. now a waiting list for May. Like I, I I anticipate they'll sell. Wait till summer. <laughs> right. Wait till June and July and August when People the weather is so warm. miserable. Like, and I could be a freaking misery. I'll admit that. But like, <laughs> really, like the sport is trying to improve. <laughs> Trying to make it well, have more minute, pace Bulls, and energy. Earl's point is, and I, I, I do understand what you're saying, <coughs> uh, and, and so just hear, hear it yeah. out. It's not my criticism, but I have heard other people say this. Uh, and, and my son said this, and I was really surprised yeah. by it because he's you know Corey? your age. Yeah. Corey said, when I go to a game, I, I like it to be long. I like a three-hour game. I'm, no. It's an event. Yeah, but I think now that, that's, yeah. that's, the, that's, now that's, Corey's what, a big what are the baseball fans, fan. By general, I think. Yeah, but he used he stopped watching baseball okay. because for the same reason that all young people stopped watching it. It's too slow. But I wonder, um, and we'll find out as the season goes on what impact this is having on attendance. Way too early to judge yet. But I, I'm curious to, to know once we get a sizable number of games as a sample size, what the average fans are saying when they're leaving the stadium after a two-hour, th- three-minute game. Like a lot of fans get there late. Do you, well, and do you feel like a you lot get, of it, do you feel like you get your money's worth if it's only a two hour game? Right, and like in LA where it's a notoriously late arriving crowd. Yeah, there are fans still walking into Dodger Stadium in the fourth inning, yep. which I never yep. understood. I, I, I have no sympathy for these people. We've been hearing for years people complaining that baseball's too long. I'm now we're going to complain it's too fast. Well, you know what? <laughs> this is insanity. It, it goes back I, to our original point about yeah. Twitter. Voices get amplified. Who is yeah. complaining? And, and I want to know, Earl. Do you, who is complaining? I, 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 well, I can complaining. tell you what. Now, I don't. I don't know the name of the of the author that wrote the piece. But yeah. he was. His whole bet was he went to a ga- uh, a game Saturday. I think it might have been in San Francisco or uh, no. Did San Francisco play, home? The they, uh, I don't remember. Uh, no, no, no. no, no, no there, they're at Yankee Stadium. Yeah. Um, I can't remember now the town, but but he talked to fans, and the games were much quicker. And he said that. I was surprised. I thought it would be universal. Everybody loved the in and out. There were a lot of fans that said, well, I appreciate a day at the ballpark. And now it's like a blink at the ballpark. I think the vast majority. You'll even, always find people to complain about even, something, Paul. <laughs> even in September, October, after the end of the season, I think the vast majority of people will enjoy the new rules. Just being able to get in and out quicker in the grand scheme so. of thing long term is very, very good for baseball. But to both point. We're always going to find people yeah, argue for the yeah. sake of argue. We talked about the worst You'll kind of people last week. always see complaints. There's the yeah. Zag guy, and I'm not saying this particular person or the people that whoever article author wrote is uh, they're Zag people, but you can't please everybody. No. Yeah. And, you know, I love it. So we, we've heard, I, I'm, yeah, I, and I, I do too, and I'm and more you, likely to go yeah. to a game because right. I am too, I, yeah. nobody, I, the people that are complaining are not going to not go to games because it's fair. I would hope not. That doesn't make any sense. The I would hope only, not. The only thing. And this is not a. I'm excited to see how this plays out. And you alluded to this: a bases loaded, two out situation in the playoffs, where you can see the sweat dripping off the pitcher. Yeah. And we're all sitting on the couch watching, right. and like, what's going through his head? He doesn't. Well, and, and he has to. And speed if the game up. is decided by that rule, people are going to be pissed. Yeah, yeah and, they and, will. And, 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 and I, I like working through the pitcher's mindset in that sense, where each pitch in the playoffs right. feels so. But it does get way too long. So I'd rather have it be fast and I, I lose do that too, than vice versa. I, I am in the playoffs. The one thing that – um the, so Tito put – I wouldn't have done this, by the way. I would have waited until you get to Oakland. But Tito decided when you fall off the horse, the best thing to do is to get back on. And when Karen Check came in to pitch in a, in, in a tight spot, yeah. I, I know you didn't want to bring him back the next night, but that was the kind of game that I'm okay using him. 
Put, throw them when it's nine to right. four. Throw yeah. them out there. Right. Who cares? Put Classe out who cares? there. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. They use yeah. Classe. Yeah. Now Karinchak threw a lot of pitches the night before, right, so sure. he was off, yeah, yeah. off right, the table. Right. But I just said, okay, how is he going to use Karinchak? He's done for the series. Wait until you get to Oakland. There will be no crowd. Right. Literally. And that will take the pressure down. The <laughs> yeah. last thing in the world you want to have happen is to have Karinchak have two blown saves because of two meltdowns because of the pitch clock. Yeah. So I was glad that he wasn't used. I, I knew he wouldn't be used Friday, but when he came in the game Saturday, I just immediately said, that's a mistake. Yeah. yeah turn that off. Do we have, I said, uh, that's a mistake. Yeah, we have the Rendon, Rendon? thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. But in typical Tito fashion, he got it right. Yeah. He had faith in his guy. We talked yeah. about he's he has so long yeah. leashes. He's so good. He's great. So good. He wanted him to win in that spot. He probably yeah. gave it great thought. Well, it's going to be better for him long term if he can pitch in this stadium and overcome it. But what we saw in his two appearances, and this is what's going to happen in every playoff game, the entire stadium is a chorus of five, four, right. three. Love it. That's We've never seen Deal that with in it. the sport. Love Imagine it. in golf. If, if guys were standing over their putt, I've always the crowd said that this should happen. Was counting well, down this should happen in golf. I've always said well, that. I wish it was, but Listen, it's not. Golfers are softer than Charmin. They can't handle that I stuff. I know they Let's can. Let's go. Go ahead. Let's see the Baseball Rendon players clip. Gotta be right, here's, here, here's the incident with Anthony Rendon and the fan. You gotta wait a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's towards towards the end here. But as you and, see, and Angels remember, player, Rendon signed this big contract with the Angels, and it's been terrible. He's been awful. He's been injured. I think when he signed, it was the. Second biggest baseball contract ever for an infielder. I don't remember. Players, I don't know why there's no security there. By the way, yeah, that's a, th that's, this is what we don't need. By the way, why are these guys having to like essentially? Yeah, I mean, here it is. Yeah, you can't do that. Now you you can't do that. However, I'll say this to your point, Bull. When yeah. I when I first saw the clip, I said, "Oh, this is just bad job on security." Terrible. This fan was doing something like we talk about like athletes and the you know all that yeah. the smack talk the one thing i have no use for is a fan taunting yeah. players in in a fashion where it was clearly personal and you saw he was leaning over the rail yeah and he was sticking his face out there some of these guys are goading players that's they right. want players to that's, do that and now here's the deal okay fan behavior is awful uh, there's so many fans that act like complete asses at these games. Busting, doing things in a funny manner, busting a player's chops about That's an fair. error, yeah. all fair game. When you talk about families, you make it personal. You may say something racist. All stuff like that, it's crossing the line. Yes. It's unacceptable. However, the players <laughs> have to deal with it. Yeah, they do. As unseemly as it may be, yeah. unless a fan to actually extent, touches you. To an extent, though, like... If a guy's leaning over yeah. and he's saying something in your face about your wife or about your child, we're all human. I get it. And and, and that's where security fails. Security yeah, has to be. There yeah. was no security guard there. And that was there. going on for a minute at yeah, least was before ridiculous. Rendon was Rendon was frustrated. He should have just walked back. Right. I don't know what the guy said. <laughs> the guy was probably a complete ass. I'm sure. Well, he's he got to like somehow it. find a way to just, or his teammate, grab him and get him yeah. out of there. Yeah. You're not, nothing good is going to come out of swiping at the guy. Oh, no, it's I 12 o'clock. You know what that means. <laughs>